Good morning, grade five. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Miss Hannon. Today we're going to uh, start with uh, grammar. Please uh, get your language arts textbook. Okay. Not, not the practice book. The practice book is for your homework. Um, just your English notebook and your language arts textbook. Okay. This we had homework yesterday. Um, yesterday, no, you guys didn't have homework. Today, I think in the plan I wrote that today you have homework. There was no homework in the written for today. For yesterday. For yesterday, no. For today, inshallah, I think you have. Okay, everybody has a book. There's only 18 of you. I'm not sure where the rest of you are. I don't know. Maybe they are. Can wait one more minute while you get your books, and then we will start. Okay. Miss Hannan? Yes, dear? I just entered. Can you tell me what book? The language arts uh, textbook and your English okay, notebook. You. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, so uh, last session we learned about complete subjects and complete predicates. Today we're going to do a very short lesson called simple subject. Okay, this is on page 16, okay, in your language right. textbook. Okay, so what is a simple subject. It's very easy. The simple subject, guys, is? Miss? Yes? Uh, what is the page? It's on the screen. I cannot see it. You can't? No. I cannot see it. Do you have it open from a phone? No, from a laptop. But you can't see the page? Yeah. So you can't see my screen? Yeah. Really? Yeah. This whole time I thought you could see. I'm sorry. Guys. Look at me too. Look at me too. I was thinking that the the font was too small, but it was on 16. So I made it bigger. I didn't know. Okay. All right. Uh, sorry, guys. Okay. So the uh, simple subject is the main word or words in the complete subject. What does this mean? It tells exactly what, sorry, what, uh, whom or what? So let's start with whom, whom or yes, are we what? supposed to write it in the notebook? Um, yeah, go ahead and write this in your notebook. It tells exactly whom or what the sentence is about. Okay. Here's an example. Our English teacher likes to eat. Oops. All right. Our English teacher likes to eat peanut butter sandwiches. All right, our complete subject would be, who can tell me? Um, what is our complete subject here? Yeah. Our complete subject is our teacher. You're missing a word, dear. Read it again. Our what is our complete subject? 
Our English teacher. Our English teacher, okay. So all of this is our complete our subject. Complete, our complete subject. Okay, what is our simple subject? Exactly who or what is the sentence about? The teacher. Teacher, okay, teacher, right? So our simple subject is teacher. Oops. All right. Another example. Kanahi, can you tell me what uh, the complete subject is and what the simple subject is? My favorite city is Bursaid. My favorite city is the complete uh, subject. Okay. And what city is our simple? Is... Very good. Our simple subject is city. Okay. Was this clear, guys? Yes. Sometimes. I don't know why it's difficult to change back and forth between colors. Okay, sometimes the complete subject or sometimes the simple subject is the same as the complete subject. What does this mean? Sometimes Okay, Shlok sends his homework on time. Here, what is our um, simple subject? I know. Shlok? Uh, the simple subject is Shlok. Okay. This is also our complete subject, okay? Because it is the only word that we have, okay? It is our so our uh, simple and complete subject. Okay, there's no other words as part of the complete subject. It's only the uh, shlok. Okay? So sometimes it is one word. If we wrote our friend shlok, shlok only would be the uh, simple subject and the complete would be our friend shlok. Okay? Is this clear, guys? Okay. Let's move on and start uh, answering some questions. Okay. Okay. Page 16. Let's start with. Number one, tell me the, I did not finish. you did not finish. Okay, guys, this is, um, you need to write faster. Okay, and anything you miss, you can get from smart schools because it's more important for us to cover the lesson while I'm here, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, number one, who would like to answer? Tell me the simple subject in each sentence. Kenzie, number one. Just write this in our notebook. Yeah, write the answers in your notebook, guys. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Just write the simple subject. You don't have to write the sentence. My fifth grade class studies math. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Read the sentence again, dear. Tell me first, what is the complete subject? 
my fifth grade class. Read the sentence. My fifth grade class studies math. What is the complete subject? Fifth grade. Which one class. is the complete here? My fifth grade class studies math. So what is our complete subject? My class. fifth grade class. I'm asking for complete, dear. My fifth grade class. So the sample would be? Who or what are we talking about exactly? Class. Okay. You said class, but I think you, uh, when I said complete, but I think you just mixed them up. All right. So uh, the simple subject is class. Thank you. Ison number two. Math is my favorite subject. All right. Math is, math is a complete and uh, simple. Excellent. So our simple subject is math. This is also our complete subject. Very good. I'm to number three. I don't see hands raised, guys. We're on page 16 in the language arts textbook. I'm at number three, are you there? Yeah. Yes, Miss Amy. Many scientists work with numbers. The, the, the simple subject is science. Excellent. The simple and subject the is? Science. Sorry. And the complete subject is many songs. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Shlok 4. Four uh, is... Uh, one second. Yeah. Four. Judges on the Supreme Court independent to laws. No, dear, I think you're on uh, the on wrong the page. You're on yesterday's lesson. We did this already. We're on simple subject. Oh. Some numbers are very large. Some numbers is a some complete num subject. And some, I mean numbers, is a simple subject. Very good. Okay, a lot of you are quiet today. Tito, are you there? Number five. Uh, miss, uh, I just joined the meeting. Sorry, I will open the page now. Okay. Mamdou, are you there? Uh, yes. All right. Can you answer that? What is I just use large numbers? Uh, Stop on the page. The complete okay. subject is rocket Excellent. scientists. All right. Um. The simple subject uh, is uh, a rocket. All right. Is it talking? So, so do, do the rockets use large, uh, large? Does the rocket use large numbers? Okay. Listen, guys. If you're confused and you don't know which word is the which word or words is the uh, simple subject, look at the predicate. Okay. Look at the predicate and see the verb. Okay. In this example, it says uh, our our simple um, sorry our complete predicate is use large numbers. So, who or what uses the large numbers? The answer must be scientists. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Tito, number six. Number six, okay. Our class learned about graphs. Uh, class. Class, very good. Okay, all day. Number seven. Okay, Miss Swan. Uh, number seven. Yeah. Uh, a bar graph is one kind of a uh, of the graph. Uh, graph. Graph. Very good. What is our complete subject? Um. Uh, is one, uh, is one kind of graph. Complete subject. Oh, okay. Um, complete, um, a bar. So how did you tell me graph? 
The complete subject is a bar graph. Okay, a what graph. is one kind of graph? A bar graph, okay? Yeah. Is that clear? Okay, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Hannah Sultan, are you there? Okay, can you answer um, number eight? Okay. That's on page 16, right? Uh, sorry, dear, we moved to page um, 17. We finished 16. Our task was to graph how many students were read. Okay, what is our simple subject, Hannah? Um, task. Task, very good. Thank you, Habiba. Number nine. Yes, miss. All right, can you answer number nine? Guys, you should be uh, holding your um, phone or tablet, whatever you are attending from, ready to answer with your book open. Okay, go ahead, uh, Habiba, what's number nine? My friend Sam wrote a, a red shirt. Or a red shirt. Or. What's the complete subject? Sam. Sam, very good. And number 10, Malak. Hi, yes. Hi, dear. Number 10. Alexander's socks were red. Socks. Socks, very good. Okay. All right, guys, the next exercise is to uh, add a simple subject to each group of words. Um, let's do that. Okay, what does it mean by add simple subject to each group of words. So we're only adding a simple subject. Our answer will most likely be one word, okay? So we're not gonna write our friend Hannah. We're just going to write um, Hannah, okay? Okay, let's do number 11 to uh, 15 quickly. Oops. Yasin Hashem. At the second subject, each group of words write the new sentence. From the bar graph on the board. Let me think of a simple sentence, of a simple uh, subject. Miss, I can't hear Yasin. I can hear him. His voice is just a bit far. Continue, Yasin. Try to raise your voice. He broke and left on the boat. I can't hear you, dear. What is, what is the word you're saying, students? He drew. He drew, okay, he drew a bar graph on the board. Very good. Okay, uh, Yasin Duini, are you there? Thank you, Yasin. Uh, Hashem? Yeah. All right, can you? Uh, what content the number of red t-shirts? Uh, 
She counted. She, all right. Or we can think of a name, right? Okay. Alex. Alex. I like Alex. There you go. Thank you. Okay, people who have been quiet. Miss Wood, hands. Miss Wood, are we? They got it in my hand. We're on number uh, 12 on page 17. Uh, I know, Tito, you are raising your hand all day. I see you guys. The thing is, you guys answered. There are many of you who are very quiet. I saw number 13. Recorded the number on the graph. Um. Oh, wait. Okay. Thank you, Isa. Um, are they? Uh, um, recorded. 14. The number. We already did 13. We're on 14. Okay. Uh, draw a graph in their notebook. Um, Mike. Draw grass in his in their notebook. Mike. Okay. Very good. And I number fifteen. Okay, I'm. This is. She asked us to create our own graphs. Okay. She. All right, or um, Hannah, or uh, Ahmed, or any name, right? Yes. <clears throat> okay. We could also use um, a plural uh, simple subject here. We could say teachers, right? Teachers asked us to create our own graphs. Okay. Is uh, is the this lesson simple? Is this lesson easy for you guys? You have any questions? No. No, oh, it's so okay. easy. All right, so your homework oh. is... Uh, I want to tell you something. Yeah. Yesterday, my mom t told me the homework for today, and I missed it yesterday. Okay, you finished today's homework? Yes. All right. Okay, guys, that's the good thing about the weekly plan, is that uh, everything is there. You know what to expect for the week. You can do it if um, it's something we, we have covered. Okay. All right, guys, um, I wanted now for us to go back to our story. Did everybody write down the answers for these two pages in your notebooks? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Book or big story? I'm sorry? Book or big book story? The small book story or the big books? The big book. The big book. One second, I'm just going to open the One second, guys. Looking for the story. Do you remember where we stop in um, second day first impressions? Yes, I remember. I think so. It was on the guys develop. It was on page thirty-eight at the beginning. Okay, one second, guys. Actually, it was on page thirty-six. I know a shortcut. Follow me. Think so, there. Okay. So I remember we read the clue. We read the clue and I listen guys, we read listen, I we read the clue and I called on someone to tell me what it meant, but then the meeting uh ended, I think. Right? Yeah. All right, what um started Okay. One second, guys. This in which book? In the literature anthology textbook.
We stopped at page 35. You're right. I cannot see your screen. Okay, one second, guys. I'm going to share it. Okay. Is everybody on page 35? Yes. Yes, yeah. But uh, we did not know the meaning of the uh, the Yes. We told Tanahi will tell it today. Tanahi. Tanahi will tell it today. Okay, can you uh, see my screen, guys? Yes, I can see. Yes. Let's say uh, you open to me the mic. I will read. Yes, sorry. No, it was by mistake. Sorry, guys. Okay. I'm not sure if my screen is uh, clear. Hmm. All right. So we uh, so the last the last thing we read was the clue on uh, page 35, 34, Sorry. Um, okay. I'm going to continue reading, guys, because I'm afraid we're not going to have enough time to finish the whole story. Okay. All right. Hey, I actually know this one. Louisa thought, astonished. To the cemetery. Devon cried. No, wait. Louisa said, stopping them. That's not right. It said his last resting, resting place. That sounds like a cemetery to me, said Devon. What is a cemetery? Who knows what a cemetery is, guys? Do I have you guys on mute? Sorry. I left the camera. Okay, who knows what a cemetery is? Okay, listen, there's a lot of hands raised. I'm not sure if... Um, Reem, please do not turn on the camera. Shlok, do not turn on the camera. I know you were trying to tell me that you were muted, but uh, please keep it off. Um, okay, listen, guys, when you raise your hand, if you don't uh, want to answer, you must click lower, because this whole time I think that you guys... Um, have your hand up for my question, but maybe it was from before. Okay, Yasina Sadeh, tell me what is a cemetery? A cemetery is a place where the coffins would be taken to uh, be to be uh, uh, be underground to okay. be doubled. Very okay. Um, so a cemetery is a um, a large burial ground. Okay, so it's where we bury. Uh, where people who passed away are buried, okay? So uh, we know that uh, this man has passed away, okay? So uh, Devon suggests that his last resting place is the cemetery where he was, where he was buried, okay? All right, Louisa nodded. I know, but he wasn't buried in the cemetery. I, I did some reading when my family decided to relocate here. The founder was actually buried near the library. There's a tree with a little plaque with his name engraved on it and everything right out front. The other kids looked at each other. I've walked by, my, by that library almost every day of my life, Sam said. I never knew that. Good save, Devon said to Louisa. We'd have lost valuable time if we had to retrace our steps from the cemetery. So um, they would have lost uh, time, right, if they had to trace uh, all of their steps back. 
we <laughs> We still need to hurry, Tyler reminded them, pointing at a group of yellow-shirted students running purposefully across an intersection. Okay, so what mistake was um, the team about to make? No, I'm going to the cemetery. Okay, they would have they would have wasted time because at the end, it's like a race, right? The one who uh, finished the scavenger hunt first win. Okay. So, um, Louisa, who was very shy to uh, suggest anything at the beginning and to participate, um, gave them valuable advice, right? Um, she is less scared now to, um, she is less scared now to be a part of this uh, scavenger hunt, and she is uh, suggesting things that she thinks might help them. Okay. Miss, so which which place is correct? The the so the far you, so far library? so far you would think that it's library, right? Based on the way that they uh, told her a good save, but we're gonna check. Okay, so I think that Louisa was the one who solved the clue. I know a shortcut. Yeah. Halen cried, "Follow me." No one moved. No, seriously, Halen said, "You know how I'm always late." Trust me, I figured out a lot of shortcuts in this town. Okay, so they didn't want to follow him because if you remember at the beginning of the story, this is the one who came um, looking all messy and his hair was all messy. And uh, so they don't trust him, right? Plus he's always yes. late. They think that uh, he's not going to help them. Okay. Um, grade five, remember that realistic fiction uh, is supposed to be um, similar to our everyday speech, okay? So the authors choose words that make their characters sound believable. What are uh, some of the things that uh, Halen says, for example, that sound uh, like a, a fifth grade student? I know. Uh, raise your hand on the screen, guys. Kenzie? Can she put her hand down? Uh, yes, you said it. Shlok, I call on you a lot. Did you say why every time you seen? Because you seen has his hand raised, and you had your hand raised. Only the two of you. I'm gonna raise his hand now. The two of you, but you unmuted yourself, Shlok, to answer, and you seen kept his hand raised. Okay, seems Yasin isn't there. Uh, Tanahi? Uh, because they didn't believe the one that his hair was messy and he didn't, he yeah, didn't believe. That's true. All right. Um, but the, the words, some of the words that um, make this text seem real, um, you know, these are fifth graders talking to each other. I know a shortcut, follow me. No, seriously, okay? So these are uh, things that kids commonly say to uh, one another, okay? Yes. Thank you. Okay. All right, uh, another clue. The others had to agree that made sense. And so they let Halen lead them up a tiny side street and across a scraggly patch of grass, a few more blocks, a sharp right turn, and suddenly they were standing in front of the library. Louisa found the clue taped to the plaque honoring the town's founder. So Louisa was correct about um, the library. Now go to the place where the pig skin is found, but don't waste too much time running around. Center yourselves, then rise to the top. When you run out of space, you'll know it's time to stop. Okay, uh, so some of these clues, guys, um, like this one on page 36, uh, are really tricky. So we need to uh, reread the clue and the surrounding text to make sure that we know uh, what it means. What do you guys think this might this clue might mean? Does anybody have an idea, Kenzie? Like um, in a building, and you go up the stairs. Okay, maybe. 
Center yourselves and rise to the top. Maybe. Any other ideas, guys? Okay. Um, let's continue reading. Football stadium. Yes, Amr, what do you think? Maybe to... Uh, maybe to a mountain or something high. Something high? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Maybe a uh, farm. Shlok, do you have maybe a farm? Maybe, because of pigskin? Maybe. Um, good guess. Um, Shlok, do you have an idea? The baseball stadium. Baseball stadium? Why would you say baseball? Because usually when there are seats like that, it is a baseball match. Because whenever the base, like the person who hits the bat, any person sitting could catch it. Okay. Maybe. All right. Let's read. Football stadium. So maybe it is um, a football stadium, Shlok? Football stadium, Tyler said decisively. Pigskin running around. That seems pretty obvious. Yeah. I don't know what the center stuff means, though. Okay. Um, do you guys know American football? Do you know what American football is? Not soccer. Yes, I know. Okay. Um, I so, know. so another, so uh, pigskin is what you call uh, a football. Okay. Uh, it has something to do with the uh, material that the football is made out of. Okay. Let me um, show you guys what pigskin is. Oh, sorry guys, the meeting is going to end. All right, so let's just finish this page and then you will join again, inshallah, at uh, 10 and we'll continue the story, okay? And I'll show you what uh, pigskin is. Okay. Maybe the center of the field or the center section of the seating area, Devon proposed. I bet that's it, said Louisa, nodding. We should find the center section, then go up to the top. Okay, I will... Um, we will meet again at uh, 10, guys, okay? Please be sure to have your literature anthology textbook because we're going to read the story, okay? Good. All right, see you then, guys. Miss, Bye. can we read the story? Miss, um, uh, don't read the story in the break. We're, I'll, I'll be waiting to read it with you at 10. Bye. Okay, let's no, read it. Can I read it to, so, no, Miss, can we read it to you? We're going to read it as soon as I come back, okay? Miss. I need to give you guys a, a, a small break because there should be breaks between the sessions, and uh, we will read it at starting at 10, okay? 15 minutes. Okay. The meeting will shut off, guys. Yes. Uh, do we need the language or no? No, we're done with the language arts for today. The meeting shuts off automatically, guys, okay? I wonder if we'll we'll do it in the next uh, session. Next session at 10 o'clock, 15 minutes. Now 14 minutes, okay? What, what will get to, to the next uh, your literature and anthology textbook. Okay. okay. Yeah, Andrew, notebook. All right, guys. Bye.